we have a new evidence showing that uh, Justin Trudeau and the Canadian government continue to help the Islamic regime of Iran. A very weird situation in Canada because um, on Saturday, a couple of days ago, there was an international day to, to, for people around the world in 120 cities around the world to demonstrate uh, against the Iranian regime. They weren't protesting the West. It was simply to send a message to people in Iran who are protesting the uprising to say to them that we will be your voice because the mainstream media are not really interested. The political establishments in the West are not interested in the Iranian people's revolution especially when it comes to Canada. The reason is fascinating is because that day, the biggest march or demonstration was actually in Canada. And uh, I think it was in Toronto, the same country that is the beacon of hope for the Islamic regime. This news story. Uh, so can the Canadian government have been just giving out, uh, they've, they've been rolling out uh, the welcome mat for the elite of Iran who have links to the Islamic Republic, so-called Islamic Republic. The Muslim law in Iran, in Iran has gone way too far. They've been giving out access and visas to uh, the families of uh, the, uh, the Revolutionary Guard in Iran linked to the Supreme Leader and the, the corrupt government so they can easily go travel there, live there, you know, educate themselves, make money and do all the illegal activities that they can't do in Iran. It's a weird situation. There's one, of the, one of the people in families uh, are, is uh, Ali Reza uh, Hosseini, who, is, uh, who has been a, a governor in one of the provinces in Iran before. He uh, was a top figure in the Revolutionary Guard. And he and his family just have direct links to Canada. They can just do whatever they want. It's the same here. We have the Islamic Center in uh, Maidaville in London, that is uh, controlled and funded by the Islamic regime. In Tehran, it's the hub for you know what. They, it's, it's, they train bad people. They fund, they do money laundering, and they have a charity status. And just before the lockdown, they also created the new status, limited company, and they managed to take furlough money. Our own tax money in the UK funded, funded their furlough scheme, the Islamic Center. Now, what we discovered is the National Post in Canada that over the past five years, the federal startup visa program has been widely popular you know, when it comes to the Iranian elite to obtain permanent resident status in Canada. Now, this is definitely at least since 2015 onwards, and uh, the application is going up, and this is a very easy route for the regime to escape Iran if the time comes. And there are rumors, of course, unconfirmed rumors, that uh, the son of the supreme leader in uh, Iran, Mushtaba Khamenei, there are rumors that uh, his wife and uh, child have uh, now left Tehran uh, to Dubai. And the rumors were that, well, this is basically, they, go, they were going to go to Dubai to then get to Toronto afterwards. Again, we can't really confirm those rumors, but it's, I would not be surprised, considering this is the link between Trudeau and the Iranian regime, let alone the dodgy stuff between Biden, Democrats, and the Iranian regime. That's a whole different topic as well. Someone needs to talk about this. Somebody in the media needs to be brave enough to talk about it. It is what it is. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'm Maya TC, and we are the media.